guys, I'm Josh Boy, and today we're watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. This episode is called the episode, um, yeah, I don't know what this episode's called, actually. Um, oh, it's All the Madam's Men, I do know what it's about, which is, um, an episode about Madam Hydra getting it on with loads of different men, and we all get to watch, yeah! <laughs> I'd watch it. Um, I'm very excited, um, because Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. has been killing it this year, it really has, it's been a like, seriously the best superhero show, not about superheroes, on TV, it's better than, I'd say it's better than Arrow, Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Supergirl, come at me, come at me, I would, I would say it is, um, I'd say this show's probably one of the best TV shows on the TV this year, <laughs> this is Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., All the Madam's Men, sex, yay, let's go, <laughs> let's do this. May Sky team up. Now, one of you were saying in the comments, you wonder whether Sky will have the same powers Good as what she does. So I don't I'm know. Sure it's going to be interesting. Holy today, shit! We are talking about justice. You're dead. Yesterday we yeah, there's a lot of dead people. Hey, you! Simmons what killed you. Oh, this is going to be the best episode ever. May and Daisy team up. Oh, holy shit! Oh, Jesus. Do wielding motherfuckers. Holy shit, Meg! Come on. <laughs> I do love her. She's such a badass. <laughs> She's such a badass. Who is it? Oh fuck. And Fitz? Oh. Well, he's a romantic. And me, what, I don't make the list? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Let's move. <laughs> You've got to be dead. Fucking hell. But that was insane. She just was like, bitch, get out my window. Get out a window. A man showed up when I was fresh out of school. I don't have time for a history lesson. I said no. Oh, it's very funny that you use the hands, because that's the hands you use to crush his chest right for you. Now. Don't let emotion cloud your judgment. Whoa, that's go what's going on here. I could have changed my life that day. I love Phil's stories. But it seemed like too much responsibility. Yes, the good stories. I didn't want to shoulder it. But now I think maybe I should have. Well, when I got that offer, I took it. I was serving time. Arson. First degree. Pretty sure my life was over. That's when someone came to me. A S.H.I.E.L.D. agent? What was his name? <laughs> She'd laugh that you assumed it was a guy. Her name was Victoria Hand. Oh, which is everything because you shot her. Man. You shot her dead. Wow. Sky was the one who made me believe it. Now she is in danger. Victoria Hand was a really I can't just one sit of the only good things about season one. <laughs> Try not to get killed, okay? Or there's chatter all over the police band. We weren't followed. We were careful. Not Apparently not that careful. Oh no! Oh, we got to take the leg one. Damn. Jesus Christ! Oh, nice no, one. Oh shit! They broke her spine. I want them dead. Don't you snap at me. Yeah, look at that. If I wanted you hysterical at every setback, I would have left you with your mother. Oh. So what now? I have yet to turn over every stone. Someone knows where they're going. I'll find them. I hate his father. I hate him. I hate him. I hate him so much. You were right. I can't show any weakness. Which means I can't tolerate failure. 
Even for my own father. Oh. Welcome to S.H.I.E.L.D. So the secret base is the base. Probably should have guessed that. No. <laughs> look it back home. By us, you don't mean me. I guess I was holding out hope that Simmons was wrong. And that you'd still be... the girl I knew. Aww. No! No, he's Grant Ward. Right, Don't are him. Oh. Damn. Why do I feel so bad for Ward? I hate Ward. Screw you, Ward. It's really hard to hate. Brett Dalton just plays it so fucking well, doesn't he? his own son's genius. Damn. He's a pathetic drunk. Even here, you're nothing without him. Ooh, so do what damn. You will. I've got nothing left to give. You'll be a disappointment to your son yet again. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna find me at Oh, fucking hell. You know nothing about me or my son. Oh, jeez, Jesus, this guy's a monster. Why do I always do that? Like, someone pointed out in the comments the other day, why do you chew your fingers and tilt your head with the fight? Say, I don't know, I just get on edge. I don't like fighting. I'm a very peaceful person. Let's break his legs. I just have one request. Take me with you. I hoped you'd say that. I didn't. No, Fitz, no. What? Do I have something in my teeth? No, it's just I feel like we've uh, done this before. Done this before. <laughs> Deja vu happens to me all the time. I like to think it means I'm on the right track. You might be onto something. <laughs> oh, or it's just a coping mechanism. I love it. You have never done anything like this. Just tell the truth. You'll be fine. Once you see this footage. The truth is undeniable. Hydra doesn't think we're smart enough to know when we're being fed alternative facts to keep us afraid. This is to keep brilliant. Them in power. So Remember, politically correct as well. Than there are of them. There are more. And now that we know the truth, we have a choice to make. We all have the opportunity to be patriots. Will you take a stand? Are you going to hold them accountable? Throughout history, you see empires rise and fall. Even benevolent leaders. There are people outside. Power. And Hydra was corrupt from the start. They were founded by the Nazis. No. They're not Hydra. I think they're here to help us fight. A wise man once told me that a person Hell can yeah. do anything once they realize they're a part of something bigger. It's taken me a while to understand that. For years, I was just a face in the crowd. A history teacher who spread Hydra's lies. Screw you. They seem to impose oh, it for any one oh, person no. to fight. Ada. But now, I'm choosing to stand up. To become a part of something bigger. Yes! I really so do believe epic. that together we <laughs> this can accomplish so anything. Because the truth is, I'm not just a history teacher. My name is Phil Coulson, and I'm an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. We'll return in a moment. That was the greatest thing I've ever seen! Oh. <laughs> that was brilliant, that was so amazing. I've located the two agents threatening the framework. They are aboard a S.H.I.E.L.D. jet. Once we get a lock on it, my men have orders to shoot it down. Fuck. <sighs> I assume that's Trip and Simmons, yes? Um, that's the problem. Wait, is that in the framework? Is that in the real world? Because if there's two agents that I'd like to see come back, I'm just saying Bobby Hunter! Oh, that would be so good. 
But I don't think they'll be back this season. Um, that was amazing. That was so, so good, guys. You know what? This show gets got so much stick in it. Lost so many viewers in in season one, and I just wish that everyone would give it a, just a second chance because my God, what show it became! It went from being this Ugh, Agents of Shield is on to Holy shit, Agents of Shield is on. Um, and in season two, it got amazingly better. Season three, it got even better. In season four, it got even better. No show I've ever seen has done that. Progressively got better. Um, that's insanely good. Insanely, insanely good. And the cast just make it so real. The sh it, I, I think what really helps is the fact that Phil came from the movie, so we knew Phil already. But we've really learned who Phil is. You know, we we sort of knew who Phil was, but now we know who Phil is. And it's beautiful to watch, it's beautiful to grow up with these characters. I mean, I started doing reactions, I don't know if they're still up now, but I started doing reactions... Um, I remember the first reaction I did was a Fractured House, which was 2-3 or 2-4, maybe 2-5, possibly 2-6. It was one of those, and it was with Bobby and that Chinese guy where she just, like, hits him with the towel and then... Um, it was always going to be a Bobby episode that I saw. Um, and to think back then, two years ago, to now, it's ridiculous, it's time has flown so quickly. And you just, you get a really sense of purpose that this is just an, an amazing show. And it just does so, so many good things. And uh, I just absolutely love it. I absolutely love this show. I think my favourite moment for that episode was uh, at the beginning where Imagine Heidi like, walks out all like, Oh, and what's you doing? And, and she's like, oh, may the warrior. And Jay's like, don't I get a thing? And then she just like launches her out of the fucking elevator. That was some badass graphics, man. I just say, that was insanely cool. But man... That was awesome. I'm I'm nervous to see where we go next, but I'm also excited. I don't feel like we're all going to be getting away <laughs> from the framework. I feel Mac's going to be the Mac and Fitz will be the hardest ones because obviously Fitz is still brainwashed completely. Um, I hate Fitz's dad. That guy is such an asshole. Where it's like you're like, don't you do that to me, son? And Fit that Melvin coming out. Um, and 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 Fitz just like backs away slightly, like. Holy shit, you beat the shit out of your son, didn't you? And it's like completely messed up and I I just love this show. I can't get over my love for this show and the admiration for this show because it is so good. And and it and it never seems to decrease in quality as the seasons go on. Yeah, right, we don't always have amazing episodes, but all the episodes are there for a reason. We barely ever get a filler episode. We barely ever get anything more than a plot moving forward story, which is awesome because it just means that Shield is on it. And that's just wicked. It's so cool. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. I hope you have a great day and I do love you all. Do you think Fitz and Mac will leave willingly or do you think there'll be a bit of a push and pull? Um, what do you think will happen to Sims and Fake Trip because they're on the jet? And um, will Fake War die? Who knows? I guess we'll find out next time. I love you all guys. Bye bye.